Hi friends, welcome to the Nursing Virus YouTube channel. This is me, your Loknathan. Today I am going to discuss regarding the subject of mental health nursing or psychiatric nursing, the MCQs. The major terminologies which is repeated in the most of the examinations in all three languages that English, Tamil and Hindi. And part 1, the question number 1 to 25 I am going to discuss. Do subscribe on Nursing Virus channel if you not yet done. And don't forget to click the bell icon and like button so you don't miss any videos. The question number one. False sensory perception without real external stimulus is known as. Here the answer. A. Hallucination. So we know that the hallucination is one of the major symptoms in psychiatric. So here the patient will see many things or feel the senses like an, uh, in the form of visual or auditory or gestatory or a tactile or in the olfactory areas. Here whatever the patient will use to perceive we cannot able to see by the normal person. Question number two, illusion is. So here the correct answer, D, misinterpretation of real external stimulus, actually on illusion. So the person will used to see some real object in the environment, but whatever the person were used to see on the image will used to misperceive by his perception. Question number three. You are walking in the kitchen and find some human figures or perceives it to be a ghost and identify the type of perception. Here the correct answer, B, illusion. Why mean? They stated that the true human figure were present on the kitchen. Only the person will used to perceive as a ghost. So hence it is a kind of an illusion. Suppose without an, any kind of human figure were present on the kitchen. If the person were perceived the similar kind of ghost, that will go with the hallucination fourth one the condition where the patient sees a rope and fear it to be a snack is called correct answer illusion because the person were seeing the rope which is truly present on the floor or some areas. Only the person were used to misperceive as a snack. So it is an illusion. Fifth one, unshakable and persistent ideas are called as. So here the correct answer, delusion. So delusion is one of the thought related problem. The person were used to thinking abilities. The delusion is an belief held with a strong conviction despite superior evidence to the contrary. Sixth one, a patient admitted in the psychiatric ward refused to eat her lunch, stated that the food is being poisoned. This kind of response is an example of So the correct answer is D, delusion. So actually the situation what they given on the question is the consider, think of delusion of persecution. So hence we don't have the option delusion of persecution. We can go with the direct delusion disorder. Seven, a client expressed the feelings that armed forceps are out to kill him. 
this could be an example of so the correct answer b deletion of persecution so whenever that situation where they given like an attacking or a trying to harm or a kill so those thing will be considered as persecution of delusions eight which of the following is best illustrate deletion of reference so the correct answer b the tv reporter is talking about me so whatever the situation they are stating that like and being the person is being referred by someone ninth one a 40 years old client is admitted with a diagnosis of delusion of grandeur which of the following option support this diagnosis so the correct answer d deletion of being highly famous and important so whenever the person having the self exaggerated thought that is considered as deletion of grandeur the person may used to say that he is an cricket cricketer he is having a direct contact with the god the person daily used to speak with that uh, cm or pm so those kind of things will be considered as deletion of grandeur 10th one an irresistible urge to move about along with the inner restlessness is called as so the correct answer a akathisia so there is a nothing it is an uh, movement disorder which is characterized by feeling of inner restlessness and inability to stay still in one place and second one akinesia if you are looking out there is a loss or that uh, impairment of the power of voluntary movement and hyperkinesia is nothing it is one of that uh, childhood disorder which is will used to happen hyperactivity and inability to concentrate in certain points and dyskinesia is an involuntary muscle movement including the movement similar to the tic or coriform movements 11 parrot like repetition of words spoken by another person is known as so the correct answer echolalia so whatever uh, you are speaking with the patient the same word will be repeated by the client for example if you are asking what is your name the client also will repeat as what is your name the same thing whatever things you are saying the similar information will be repeated by the client as it is 12th one what is meant by thought broadcasting the correct answer d delusion that once thought can be heard by others so whatever the person is thinking by himself the person lives to feel that the my thought is audible to someone else or the thought is viewed by someone or the satellite where uh, viewing my thought and broadcasting in the medias so those kind of information will be considered as thought broadcasting problem 13 a patient experiencing mania where says that we can pan run plan this can be identified as so the correct answer clang association so this is the one of the major symptom in mania cases the client used to pronounce the two words with a similar sound or it may lead to punning and rhyming formation of words by himself 14 name the given symptom in psychiatric patient the patient have two contradictory ideas at the same time for the same person is or object so 
So the correct answer ambivalence. So where the person having the two contradictory, it's a simply if you want to say mean uh, either positive or negative side, either it is love or hate or yes or no. So those kind of statement when the person is having towards the same person, that is called as ambivalence. Fifteen. A form of speech in which the client tends to wander away from the intended point and never returning to the original idea is called as so the correct answer tangentiality so that is nothing whatever the question you are asking with the patient the person will use to keep on speaking about some information and never return or never will give the conclusion for your question what the answer you need 16 so the type of thought disorder in which too many unnecessary details are included into the response before finally reaching the goal is referred to as so the correct answer circumstantiality here it's just opposite to the tangentiality so here you ask some question to the patient the person will start with that uh, particular starting point and will add some unnecessary information but finally will give the conclusion for your question 17 persistently repeating the same words or ideas in the response to the different question is termed as So here the correct answer B preservation so here the person were not repeating whatever things you are saying the same word the person were not repeating by himself he is taking some clear word and repeating the same word for all the form of question whatever things you are asking with the client for example you are asking with that uh, name of the patient the person may says that yes you are asking that what did you had for the breakfast the person may say that answer is yes whatever the question you ask the same answer or the same word will be repeated by the person 18 mr abi says that he is the first lead of the world and he is born with a special mission in life these are the symptoms of the correct answer delusion of grandeur so already we discussed what is meant by delusion of grandeur the person is to consider that he is superior to everyone he is a kind of a special power he is having a special identity so those things will be considered as grandiosity so this is also one of the major problem in mania cases 19 unconscious filling of memory gaps by the imagination is called as so here the correct answer is confabulation so this is one of the uh, major problem in case of dementia and as well that alcoholic person so whatever things you are asking with that person history the person may forgotten that uh, peculiar information by himself he will put his own all imagination for filling those information whatever things you are asking with the client 20 the term which is used to describe idiosyncratically formed new words whose derivation cannot be understood easily is so here the correct answer is neologism so neologism is nothing but it's uh, from the greek word new mean new and logos mean word or a speech so jointly called as the forming of new words or a new speech here the person will used to create one peculiar word or the new word by himself and that particular word meaning we cannot able to understand by others but if you ask with a client 
what is the meaning of the particular word the person will give the special description for the particular word the word will not be uh, grammatically described in any of the language 21 what is cluttering the correct answer c erratic dysrhythmic speech the disturbances of fluency involving an abnormally rapid rate and erratic rhythm of speech that is impaired intelligibility so here the person will used to speak too much fast and the person will never mind about the grammatical information or nothing 22 the client is no longer interested in going out and meeting the friends this is the example of which behavior so here the correct answer is b evolution so that mean no lack of motivation this is one of the negative symptom mainly seen with the schizophrenia client 23 a state of diminished consciousness in which the patient remains mute and still with the eyes are opened is called as so the correct answer is stupor the person will not uh, respond to the surroundings actually but the person will be kind of and uh, fully conscious only 24 a condition in which the person maintaining the body posture into which it placed by someone so the correct answer is cataplexy so even though the position is too difficult the person will used to maintain that same body posture for the longer period 25 dyslexia refers to so the correct answer is learning disability the dyslexia is one of the uh, learning disabilities mainly seen with the children uh, the either that may be a reading problem or writing or a inappropriate uh, spelling problems Thank you everyone thanks for watching the video we'll meet in the next video thank you for watching this video if the video is informative subscribe my channel and like and share the video you can write your comments too